And look at that! Just attacked at the moment, but... Oh, looking good. Now and there's in a nice spot. Plenty of room. Got that one up there tacked in as well. Sweet. Um, so now I'm going to do the plates. They go from here to the, the pipe. I need to probably move the motor over just to touch this way again. I've had to, you know, wobble things around. But um, yeah, so plates going from the pipes here just flat straight over over these pieces with a hole in there for the bolt to go through. I'll tack them onto the steel pipe there. And then we've got to take the motor out. So just doing the same thing as before. Cardboard cutouts. Cutting them out of, uh, them out of steel. I'm going to drill the holes now. And then start making them look nice and good. And then we'll see how well they fit. There we go. Chuck that up on there like that. It's gonna go about there. Beautiful. It's definitely gonna work. So I'm gonna do some tacks on. I'm gonna put a bolt through, bolt it on there, put some tacks on these, and then once that's you know, bolted and tacked there, then you know, I know pretty much everything else because I've got the uh, cardboard wedged up in there, cardboard wedged up in there, so. That means everything else is fixed where it's going to be. Here we go. That one's all bolted up, just tacked on the front and the in the back. Just with a random nut at the moment, just, just make it easy to get out later. And I don't want to use a nylock and melt the nylon, so we'll just do that for there. I've already got the next piece done, so this one here is just sitting there right now. I'm going to chuck some welds on that, and then I will. Oh, look at that, the mounts come out. We can push that back in later. Uh, and then I'll work on this back piece. And then it will be the, the last side to go. You can see the, uh, the odd kind of curve that I'm having to do here. This one's all ready to go. It's from here. Nice uh, up and snug. You see it's just that little bit of movement when it's sitting up against the mount. That means when I chuck a weld on it, we're not going to be forcing anything out of place. Everything is still loose and the gap is so small that we can still do a good weld. Sweet. It's done. I mean, it's tacked in, but there's that mount all done. And then we got that one. And then, then we got that one. Look at you. Yes! Now I just need to... This is going to be weird, I need to take the motor out. The top. Cool, so taking the bolt. Oh, taking the bolt out of there. Bolts out. Taking both the CV shafts out. Got this uh, cable hanging down now, ready. and That bolt's out, so... I'm going to lower it down. I'm going to set it back on the blocks. Um, I don't want to completely take the weight off and have anything go wrong because everything is still just tacked together. The whole idea is, is to be able to weld it properly outside of the car. So I'm going to sit it down on the wooden blocks here and then I'm going to get the engine crane and we're going to lift this out.